Hello, I'm Shannon Stewart, a naturalist at Ramsey County's Tamarack Nature Center, and we are here today to talk about raptors and what makes a raptor a raptor. So raptors are a specific group of birds, also known as birds of prey, meaning they eat other animals. Now, there are other birds that eat other animals, but the thing about raptors is they eat other largish animals like rabbits and skunks and squirrels, um, mice and voles and things like that. I have here a selection of raptors. We've got a cooper talk, a great horned owl, and a merlin, which is a kind of falcon. So you can see raptors come in all shapes and sizes. Other birds in this uh, group of birds include eagles, and kites and ospreys. So, but there is something that they share in common that make them raptors. So they are all birds of prey, as I've said, they eat other animals. And in order to catch other animals, they have these really cool grasping feet. So they've got really long toes and these super sharp talons at the ends of their toes that they use to grab on and help kill their prey. So they can grab on, they can carry the prey someplace else, and then they will be able to eat it. All right, so very cool grasping feet. Another thing that they share in common are these really great hooked beaks. So this is an owl skull, but all raptors have this really great hooked beak. Now obviously they don't have teeth because they're birds, so they need to swallow things whole. So this hooked beak helps them to rip their prey into smaller pieces so that they can swallow it down. They swallow everything, fur, feathers, bones, it all goes down. Because they swallow everything but can't digest everything, all raptors also will cast pellets. So here are some examples of some different kinds of pellets. Different sized birds cast different kinds of pellets. Um, so we've got small ones, we've got big ones. Uh, the color depends on what they've eaten. but all of the raptors will cast a pellet full of all the things they can't digest. They also have excellent eyesight. Now this is, as I said, an owl skull. Owls um, have unusual eyes in that they, they're so large. So these are the eye sockets for this owl skull and you can see how large they are. An owl's eyes are actually heavier than its brain. So owls have exceptional eyes to help let in a lot of light when they're hunting at night. You can see that the hawks don't have quite so big of eyes, but um, the hawks and the falcons also have excellent eyesight. So, um, and you can see that one of the differences actually, the hawks have their eyes on the side of their head where the owls have them in the front. They all have excellent camouflage for hiding from their prey. Now we do have raptors here at Tamarack Nature Center. There are all sorts of them. We do have a pair of nesting great horned owls that we have seen in the past have seen their nests. We haven't seen their nests recently, but we would like you to come on out and check it out and see if you can find these great horned owls. We typically see them down in the lower sugar bush near the lake. Um, the nests, owls will reuse nests. They usually use an old squirrel nest or an old hawk nest, uh, but they're not actually nesting this time of year. They nest in January and February is when they're laying their eggs. And now here we are into April and a lot of the chicks are actually fledging now and learning to hunt and survive on their own. So it's unlikely that you will see them nesting but you should be able to find where they've been. You might be able to find a roosting tree. What happens is they'll hunt at night and then they'll come back and roost during the day at the top of a tall tree, like a tall oak tree maybe. And um, as they're digesting their food, they will cough up the pellets in whatever tree they like to roost in. And typically, they like to roost in kind of the same tree every night. They'll go back to the same area. So it's quite possible that you will find some of these very large pellets underneath the trees where they roost. And that is how you will know that you have found an owl nesting, roosting tree is looking for these pellets. So come on out to Tamarack, check out our sugar bush. If you sit quietly, you may get lucky enough to have the owl fly overhead. Uh, you will possibly see some hawks gliding over the prairie. Uh, and if you happen to find a nest, let us know so we can come check it out. Now, uh, we will have some other videos posted later this week with more raptor news.